Hey guys, good morning. It's Lissa. Um, today we're going to experiment together in the kitchen. I am using a bunch of products that I've never used before, so we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to make egg bites in the multi cooker. This is the new egg bite tray, it's the silicone egg bite tray, and you can make egg bites in the multi cooker. Um, typically you would use this on the sous vide setting, but today, because I've gotten some tips and hints from some other consultants, I'm going to try to do this on the egg setting and see how it goes. So we're going to step it through together. I'm also using the, um, Flex Immersion Blender. Um, I'm really, really excited. This is the one piece of my new Flex that I haven't used yet. So we're going to use the Immersion Blender together. And I'm super, super stoked about how this is going to go. So let's see what we can do together. All right, here we go. All right, you can see here's my Flex Immersion Blender. I've got my eggs. I've got cheese. I've got bacon. I've got my little sous vide egg mold. And I've got my kitchen spritzer that has just regular vegetable oil in it. I am going to prepare the silicone mold with the kitchen spritzer. Um, and in case you didn't know about the kitchen spritzer, you've got to pump the spritzer to make it actually work. I did not know that, so I really struggled with it at first and I felt kind of like a dodo. Alright, just spray the inside of each of your little egg cups. Alrighty, now we can set that aside for when we're ready to pour our egg into our egg mold. I forgot my cup from the immersion blender. You've got to be really careful with the immersion blender. Here's the cup that comes with the Flex Plus system. Be really careful. The blades are really, really strong, and you don't want to use that in a glass bowl. The reason for that is because of the strength of the, the, pro, the process of blending with the immersion blender, you actually could chip glass, and, you know, glass in your food is really not a good idea. So we're going to, you know, take out our little immersion blender cup, and we're going to break four eggs into the cup. Uno. Dos, tres, cuatro, okay, there we go. I'm also going to add some salt and pepper so that we can be prepared in advance. Okay, all right, don't forget when you're using the Flex Plus, you got to hit the safety button. When you do, the blue lights will come on and everything's ready. And let's see. Oh, did I do that? Oh no, maybe my battery's dead. Maybe not. We'll see. is cool. All right, we're going to up that power a little bit. See how we go here. Yes. All right. I think we're nice and frothy. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. So, remove the battery. Remove the wand. There we go. We'll set that aside. Okay. So here we have our little prepared mold. We've got some Colby Jack cheese pre-shredded. Typically, I would not buy pre-shredded cheese, but it was on special at the store. And when I bought it, I think I think I think I bought like eight packs. So it's been in my freezer. <laughs> I always try to buy on sale, you know? All right, you also don't want to fill these more than two-thirds of the way full. They will overflow. And of course, you know, who wants that? Nobody wants to overflow their eggs. Oh, 
Okay, well, I don't think, well, we'll, we'll give it a shot. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, now we're going to add our cheese. Just a little bit. I think I'm going to take some cheese, I mean some egg, out of the center mold. It might, I don't know. We'll, we'll experiment together. How's that? It looks like it might be a little too full to avoid the overflow, but we'll see how it goes. All right, and here I've got some chopped bacon. So we'll just put a couple pieces of bacon on top of each one. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, some of these are not very full. Some of them are very full. You're supposed to use your scoop, but I don't have the medium scoop. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right, you can see egg molds are filled. All right, you wanna put the lid on really tight. Make sure that it, I mean it's silicone so it's pliable, but you wanna make sure that it clicks in place. You can feel the little click. All right, now in my quick cooker, I already have put one cup of water, okay, you can see the water moving around down in there. I'm going to set this down, uh oh, the lid came up, okay, I think you're supposed to use that little rack, but, you know, we're learning together. Okay, so water, egg mold. I love that it even has new music. Okay, so I'm gonna take you down from here and I'm going to show you that we're setting this on egg. And that says 12 minutes. So I'm gonna change this to eight based on um, what I was reading today. Press start. You gotta hold it in. There it goes. Okay, it's running. All right, we'll see how this comes out. I'm gonna put you guys back up in the little rack and press pause and we'll come back when this is done. This is exciting. What do you think? I'm excited. Okay, just got noticed and heard the beep. Let's see what we've got going on here. We're gonna release the steam. You can see the red button is still up. We're going to release the steam. It's probably going to get all over you, so be careful. Maybe I'll move this a little bit. <laughs> oh, there it goes. See? Can you see it? No? Oh, well. It didn't seem to have a lot of steam. When that button goes down from the steam release, yep, see, there it goes. Button down. All right, let's open it up. See what we got. Boy, am I knocking over stuff. Just my oils. Have you seen these? Oh my gosh, we've got a new basil infused olive oil, and we have a garlic parmesan infused olive oil. And I've got to tell you, these are awesome. Okay, that's going to be hot. Yeah, see, this is why we were supposed to have a little rack in there that you lift up. Yeah, I didn't do that. Okay. It feels heavy. I feel like it might be done. So I'm going to move this over. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute that is. It got all puffed up like a popover. All right, let me get my plate. See how easily these pop out. Oh my gosh, they just fell right out. Look at that. You guys, these are so cute. Look how cute these are. Holy Christmas. I'm so excited. Yeah, see the various shapes would be why you're supposed to use the scoop to give the same amount in each one. But these look awesome. 
All right, I'm going to take a little one. Take a little bite. Hold on. Let me share the experience. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. This is fantastic. I highly recommend this. All right, you guys. I hope you have a great day. <laughs>